Hi guys, Johnny Good here for Real Home Studio. Welcome back to my series on how to record a song from start to finish in a home studio. And today we're recording acoustic guitars. Just before we dive straight in, I want to remind you to please like, subscribe, and if you've got something to say, then please do drop it in the comments box below. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is the acoustic guitar itself. We want to make sure that it's, of course, in really good tune. Um, something like one of these snark tuners is going to do the job really well to make sure that your instruments uh, tune nice and tightly. The other thing as well is uh, the strings themselves. If you want quite a bright, jangly sound like I do today on this recording, then you want to have pretty new strings on board. If your strings have been on for longer than a month or so, um, then they're going to start to sound somewhat dull. Something like fast fret or a string cleaner might help to get a little bit of zing back in your strings and get a bit more life in them. But generally, if you're wanting that bright, jangly sound, then new strings is the way to go. Next up is your choice of microphone. Today I've chosen to use a small diaphragm condenser. Of course you can use any mic you like, but small and large condenser mics are generally going to be more sensitive and better equipped to pick up the nuances and the detail of the acoustic guitar. Okay, so next off I'm going to plug in my microphone. I'm going to activate 48 volt volts of phantom power if you're using a condenser microphone. That's what they're going to require. Next up I'm going to insert a new mono track because I'm recording a mono source. I want to have a mono track. And then I'm going to set the input to correspond to the input on my audio interface. And I'm going to start strumming my guitar and dialing in the gain until the peaks reach around minus 12 dB on the meter. And just a couple of notes about microphone placement. So I've got the mic around a hand span away from the instrument itself. If you get much closer than that, things start to get a bit boomy and bassy. Think about ramming your ear up against an acoustic guitar and things get a bit unpleasant. So give the instrument, the distance between the instrument and mic, a bit of room to breathe uh, and you can take things from there. Uh, I tend to start also with the microphone pointing somewhere towards the join where the neck meets the body. That's a good place to start. Again, if you put your ear close to the instrument, you can hear things get pretty tinny and trebly down the neck and boomy and bassy as you go past the sound hole down into the body of the guitar. So if you start somewhere around the middle and then you can adjust your microphone to suit from there. Okay, so we're ready to go. I'm gonna grab myself this set of closed back headphones, of course, really important. So we minimize bleed going onto the microphone. Okay, so now we're ready to hit record and start laying down our track. Okay, so that's the first track down. I'm actually going to record a second track as well because my plan is to double track these acoustic guitars and then pan one left and right when I'm at mix stage. So double tracking is super popular in like pop and rock music. And with the acoustic guitar and on this track, what I want is a nice rhythmic, wide, jangly sound. And that's what double tracking is going to help me to achieve. So when you're double tracking, the really important thing is to make sure you know that rhythm pattern inside out because that's what you want to uh, copy when you record again. But what doesn't matter so much is the performance in terms of the sound. Indeed, it's those little changes of nuances in your performance, which is gonna make the sound uh, seem really wide and spacious. Okay, with that second guitar recorded, let's take a listen to it double tracked. Okay, so thanks for joining me today, uh, recording these acoustic guitars on my series, How to Record a Song from Start to Finish in Your Home Studio. If you did find it useful, please remember to like, subscribe. Most importantly, have yourself a great day.